welcome back to CandyTube. Today I want to share with you all my custom canvas bags I have done during the COVID-19 lockdown. So make sure you subscribe so you won't miss any of our upcoming amazing videos and like if you like the video and all my artwork and be sure to leave a comment down below what is your favorite parrot from here because I just love parrots and birds and as you know we have birds and we always spend a lot of time with our pet birds and that's why I thought why not I just make birds on custom iPad covers and bags. Go check out our other videos out. We've done custom iPads as well. And phone covers. So today I'll be sharing all my custom canvas bags and we will be making another video to share with you all my other teacher custom things that I have done. And yeah, let's go right into the video. So here is my parrot I done, I, he is a macaw and I think I've forgotten what his name is but it's he's all green and he's got, he's sitting on a rock and I used a painting for this so what I done was I used a chalk, um, it is actually charcoal, black charcoal and I drew with that, I done the whole parrot outline and then after that I got used, I used paint markers and I've just done some little effects with him. Then after that I got real paint and I covered all of it up again. And then I real painted the rocks as well. So he turned out to be really cool. And uh, make sure you leave a comment down below what's your favourite part from here. Okay, so moving on, I've done this bird on this bag, I use the marabou paints and I've made a separate video of how I completed it and how I worked on this, so make sure you go check that video out. So it was really fun to do this one and I just picked a neon bird and used neon colours on it and it was really nice, the textures are amazing and it actually blended in very well together and I used a lot of green shades, yellow, blue, pink and black with white as well and it just turned out to be really cool as I thought it would be and that's my bird, I call it the neon bird. Here's my third parrot I done on canvas bags, he's all red and he's sitting on a branch, I think grooming himself or something, uh, preening sorry, and uh, actually I just always drew on paper but then I thought why not I give a try on canvas bags and see how it was and I really enjoyed it, it was so fun to do and I definitely think that you kids around the world or adults should definitely give it a try and draw on canvas bags. So this is my, I think, fourth design and it's all about a shark, he's laughing, so I made a separate video of him earlier and you should go check that one out as well. I decorated him and drew him in the video. It was a time-lapse video to save everyone's time. So yeah, uh, and how I done this was that I used the same charcoal, uh, black charcoal to draw him and then I actually used, and it's called Cam 55 uh, Paint Medium, so I used that and that's how it was very smooth to use some paints on it and I even used the uh, Posca paint markers on this and it really turned out to be very smooth and that's why I really like the finish, so yeah. So this is my next design, it's a green parrot, I use Posca paint markers and at the same time I use black charcoal with the paint medium, I definitely think you should use paint medium on the canvas bags because it definitely does a great difference, usually the bag starts moving and it's really annoying when you use the paint markers on it but when you put the paint medium on it actually saves everything and it actually makes you work faster, it just glides on it and I definitely think I recommend that so yeah you should definitely use it and this is my green pair I done use the Posca markers for his wing, decorated it with all the green shades and yeah that's my green parrot. And this is my next design, it's a green parrot, I made a video on this as well, make sure you go check that out. Actually, I made a video on all these parrots I've done on kind of this bag, so make sure you check out all of them. And this one is with paint markers, I used all the green shades and just decorated the branch. And then I added some green glitter and it was, I think, really turned out cool. I used all the green shades and I just did my own make-believe parrot. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sorry about that guys, my, my friend made a weird noise. And this is my next palette. I've done them all green. This is with real paint I used and I just mixed and matched, mashed everything together. So I had a bit of a oops over there, but that doesn't mind. So here is everything I've done. I used a lot of green shades on this one and then decorated the entire palette and mashed up all the green shades together. And it turned out to be really cool, I think. I really like this one and I don't know if this is me to be my favorite one, but anyway. I've done some shading on the beak and as you can see, that's my palette. And unfortunately, this is my last design out from the whole video. It is a canvas bag design. Uh, it's I done um, a hummingbird, and he is I don't know like uh, licking the flowers or something. Don't know what he's doing with it, but he's flying in the air. Decorated him uh, again. He's make believe because I done the colors myself, and that is it. So the feet are there. I've done some flowers. So the flowers did not come in the image I done. I just put the flowers myself there, and then that's my completed hummingbird. Okay everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. <laughs> Sorry about that guys, but thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe and comment down below what you want us to do next. <laughs> Sorry about that guys, my friend just keeps laughing for some reason. But anyway, make sure you leave a comment down below what's your favourite parrot from here. And give a big thumbs up and if you like this video, don't worry because my friend will be taking out a video of all his custom artwork. And I'll see you in my next videos. Bye!